and I think it is doing the civil society justice if you're from the civil society because this is a platform that, that can really bring everybody on board. But um, the challenges, as much as it's very good, as much as it's desirable and it's doing some sort of development, um, uh, my problem is as a post-trust woman, as, as a woman who comes from the nomad, um, nomadic community, my problem is um, how does it trickle down to that woman who is fetching water from the river? How do, how do we include that man who is after his cattle? So my problem is how, how inclusive and open that can be? And we know that, for example, in Kenya, 76 percent of the population live in the rural area. We are not talking about phones. Yes, most of the people have phones. We are not talking about the literacy. How can even the people who have disability issues or the disabled can be brought on board because they also have a voice. They are also supposed to be part of this and, and, and their views to be, to be aired. So how inclusive can this get? And the other issue is um, the regimes. We, as African continent, probably we have the same issues. How, if we have a repressive regime in where we come from, and it's, support, it's not supporting the open data, then that becomes another hinge, that becomes another hindrance. So, and bringing this into the internet, I mean, um, um, uh, what do we call it? Open data into the internet, making it available, creating this good, very nice policy is one thing. Implementation is also another thing. Mm -hmm. On the flip side is when you get um, 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 a regime that is that is telling you, hey, look, we are transparent. We want we want to be open and ABC. And on the other side, you don't get feedback. On the other side, there is a stumbling block, which is look, do not you know interfere with us. So it becomes um, um, the, it becomes a problem. And that way, there is no transparency. There's no democracy per se. So how do we make this, or how do we make the government to be accountable through open data? Um, we have issues like the farmers, which I really, um, I concur with uh, Mark Norton, if I, sorry if I mean, um, because we have um, the livestock issues. We, from the pastoral side, and even the northern side, which includes Turkana and, and uh, Garissa, Madeira, and what have you, we have issues of cattle, cattle um, running, and, 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 and we kill each other. For example, three years back, you know that 40 policemen from, uh, from Kenya were killed by, by cattle um, 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 residents. So what we are saying is that is a very, very good um, technology. It can really help us, but we need to be open. And my main problem as a civil act, a society activist is 